Captain's Log, date December 30th, 1943. The new year approaches as we travel through the operational area known as Convoy College. All systems on board the boat are well as we travel to the South China Sea. As 1944 fastly approaches, I catch myself thinking about the progress we have made. Soviet forces are pushing the Germans back in the east. The Germans again were kicked out of North Africa in May, and our boys started to move up the boot of Italy later in September. Our operations in the Pacific are going well too. From the occupation of Guadalcanal to the invasions of New Guinea, things seem to be turning in our favor at last. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here and welcome back aboard the USS Trout. It's currently January 1st, 1944. Uh, the end of the war is slowly approaching. We only have about a year and a half left. A little over a year and a half. Um, we have the knowledge of foresight, but yep, it is 7 o'clock in the morning because, and let's go ahead and get off here. The waves, as you can see, are fairly choppy. They're coming right up to our conning tower here. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually head to thirds. I was just surface or diving earlier, so that is why we are going ahead slow. I was trying to listen on my hydrophones for anything. We're currently just off Okinawa here. And, uh, yeah, no contact as we move up through the East China Sea into the Sea of Japan. I'm debating, we'll probably piddle paddle around this side for a bit in the Korea Strait and then move south. I, I suppose there would be a lot of traffic from, uh, these home ports to Manchuria, but I'm not, I'm just not 100% sure, uh, how much there'll be, but I presume there'll be quite a bit on this side here. Uh, reinforcing and supplying Manila and such. So I think this is probably where we'll end up lurking about. We might even go into Tokyo Bay if I am so bold and if fuel permits, but uh, we'll see about that. I'm not I'm not too sure about that one. <laughs> that seems a little scary. I could go through the Bungo Straits as well into this little area. That might be a uh, a good area to hunt in. As long as destroyers are minimal, this would be pretty sweet. But, uh, as we all know, destroyers are fairly common. Uh, more common than I'd like, so I'm probably not going to do that uh, to preserve my crew and myself. But yep, I just wanted to share with y'all, it is New Year's. do have a lone contact. Ship moving southwest, speed medium. That is so far away. It's up here by Shanghai. Uh, that's, that's a little too far for me. So we're just going to cruise around through this area off of Okinawa. I, I guess it is now January 1st. Let's see. January 1st, 1944. All Tambor class submarines will shift to home, sub pack. Midway Island. It's still showing just a standard anchor and Fremantle as my base. Maybe I'll need to reload or something. Um, hopefully, <laughs> we can sort that out before and I don't get stranded in the middle of the ocean. But I suppose I could always refuel at Midway, head down here to, uh, to Loggy, refuel, and then to Fremantle if I have to. I'd rather not, but that is always an option, I suppose, if things go south. But I'm trusting the game and saying that our new base of operations is Midway Island. Hopefully it's just a bug or something. So, Anyway, we are cruising through the East China Sea. It looks like now the waves are still terrible. This sea state has been like this for quite a while now. It's kind of annoying. But hopefully it calms down shortly. Anyway, I will keep you guys updated as we move closer to Kyushu here. And hopefully no Japanese aircraft come close to me. It seems like the aircraft have really died down these later years. Um, I think they're running out of pilots. <laughs> That's very possible. And material and everything. Uh, the Japanese are definitely struggling by this point. But they're still looking for that decisive battle with the United States Navy. And uh, they might get it sometime soon. So anyway, I will uh, see you guys shortly. So we have successfully made it into the Korea Strait pretty much unharmed. We went up this way. I submerged when I approached this island because I didn't want a good walloping from the shore batteries. So we went ahead and submerged there and uh, now we've been cruising. We just got a radar contact. It is 5 o'clock in the morning. It's January 4th. 
as well. And we have this contact heading north northeast, speed is medium. We want to go ahead and plot it on the map with these radar up updates. I'll go ahead and man battle stations probably in a, you know 20 minutes or so as we continue to track the target here. Ow! I just hit my arm on my desk. That actually hurt kind of kind of a bit, kind of a lot. All right. Anyway, so we can go ahead and probably establish a course here. Whoop. Looks like the course is zero three zero. Oh, fiddlesticks. Okay, come here. I just messed that up. Oh, we'll definitely have to use torpedoes here. Uh, the sea conditions are still rather poor as I at the moment. Let's go ahead and hop onto the. As you can see, yeah, it's still like what 10, 15 foot swells here. That is definitely no good for a surface attack. So torpedoes, it will be. Let's go ahead and increase speed to standard and move into intercept here. Let's check out our torpedo loadout. So we have four Mark 14 torpedoes and two Mark 18s. I'll probably use Mark 14s for this here because of the uh, darkness of our environment. Oh. oh, spoke too soon. I was about to say, I wonder how late it'll be dark and I am just sitting out here apparently. Let's get back into our little, our bathtub conning tower as it is called. Yeah, we don't want to be sitting out on the edge. Not in these swells. I'm sure the Navy would not not appreciate that if I died by something so stupid. Alright, so we are closing in on contacts. Let's see, what is their bearing? I don't think we'll have we'll be in visual range. The sun is starting to rise too. Very pretty. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to see any smoke or anything like that. Alright. Periscope depth. I think we'll be in a fairly good position here. Radar really helps a lot with uh, tracking these merchant ships and getting into a good position to launch torpedoes. It is honestly such a great tool. Alright, we are now submerged. Let's go ahead and man battle stations as well. Looks like we've leveled out at about 56 feet, 58 feet. Perfect. I suppose I could set up a aft torpedo shot, but eh, I'm not really too keen on doing that. And we can go, yeah, let's keep going standard underwater here. Going pretty quick, actually. Seven knots. It's not too bad, not too shabby. We are probably draining our battery power quite a bit. Yeah, it's already, it's already going under fairly quickly 88 percent all right so he's probably in visual range both engines ahead of one third all right let's go ahead and raise our scope and let's have our hydrophone operator give us constant updates on the nearest contact zero seven three there she is okay that is a fairly big ship Oh, interesting. I don't know if I've seen this before. Let's see here. Um, no. Central central stack passenger liner. I don't think this is it either. I probably have seen it before. I'm just Akita Maru. I'm all I've done. I've definitely seen these before. But I don't think no of these masts mm, might be better to wait and get a little closer here oh this might be it yeah I think hog island freighter I think that's it actually We'll keep this for now as we close in. Uh, it's still fairly far away, so it's going to be kind of hard to identify. Let's actually try to close the gap here. 
a little bit. I'm debating still using Mark 14s. Don't know if that's a good idea anymore. Probably need to shoot two torpedoes at this big fat guy. Let's see here. Yeah, it's a very, it's pretty hunky. I don't think that's it though. This is one thick ship. I don't know, maybe this is it. The, this and the Hog Island freighter, they're the same thing, so. Let's see. Funnel, I guess that's a gun. Yeah, I think it prob. A Rune Maru. That's it. That's it right there. Definitely. Even this little, this rigging here that comes straight down. Yeah, that is definitely our target. So we will lock that in. Let's see, the draft is 15 feet, 6,000 tons, it's top speed 11 knots. Alright, well that's easy enough I suppose. Let's go ahead and get ready to time the target. Go ahead and start it now. So I'll probably shoot two torpedoes, especially in the sea state. I want to be sure she goes under as quickly as possible. I don't want to linger around or surface and use the deck gun here, because this is probably a pretty dangerous area, if I'm being honest. So let's go ahead and wait our three minutes, and then we'll really be in position to attack. Closing in on three minutes here. Let's go ahead and two, one, zero, mark. Let's see, let's guess. Eight knots. Ten knots. Wow, he's going actually kind of quickly. All right. Well, I'll take it. Lock. Let's go ahead and begin tracking. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and launch lock in our speed of 10 knots six zero. six zero copy that Yeah, I guess he is his wake is pretty Thick he is going fairly quickly. Let's get AOB Probably 50 degrees set Range to target. Uh, it's probably the smokestack. Let's check. Yeah, indeed. It is the smokestack I always want to be sure because some of them is the mass and some of them is the stack and it, it can make a pretty big difference in your range readings. Alright, and mark. Uh, a little over 4,000 yards. Send that to the TDC. As you can see we are currently tracking 4,200 yards and closing fairly rapidly. We're closing in at a speed of 4 knots. Let's go ahead and set up our torpedoes. We have two Mark 18s. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to use. Tubes 5 and 6. Get ready. We'll do contact pistols on both torpedoes. What's the draft? The draft was 14 feet, so let's set our torpedoes. Let's set them fairly... Man, the problem is these waves. Set them to 9 feet. Or 4 feet. Yeah, 9. I, uh, let's do 8. Bring it up a foot. Because I don't want it to bounce off the curve of the hull. Nine feet should suit, should do just fine. And we'll prepare to open the tube shortly. Let's see here. Yeah, that actually does not look too bad for our first range reading. We're going to get another one as we close in here. Let's turn a little bit here. So with these torpedoes, we do want a fairly good angle as close to 90 degrees as possible. <clears throat> wow, it looks like this ship is definitely a military ship. It has uh, some sort of camouflage on it. That's pretty cool. We'll get a closer look here once I launch my torpedoes. But that is pretty neat looking. So with the sunrise, 
This is one beautiful shot. All right. Let's go ahead and get another range reading here. Can probably update AOB just a smidge. I'm sure it's fairly accurate, however. Set. Switch over. Yeah, just shy of 3,000 yards. Good. AOB. Stu 70 degrees. Mark. Range or speed. Let's make sure it's right on the 10. Okay, perfect. Tube 5 open, tube 6 open. Get this bad boy out. We'll shoot at six second intervals. We will shoot pretty shortly, too. Alright, we'll do one last uh, measurement for a range and AOB. AOB, let's adjust a little more. It's probably more at like a 60 degrees set. Range. Come on. Set. 2,300 yards. Tube 5. Fire. Tube 5, fire. Wait 6 seconds. 5. 6. Fire tube 6. 6 away. Both torpedoes away. Hopefully they're running good. Check the map. Yep look just fine to me let's go ahead and take a look at our victim I don't we have not shot at one of these before so this is definitely a first uh, that is pretty neat looking though that blue camo that's actually pretty cool and she is going fairly quickly I think one torpedo would probably be enough but I want to be certain that we actually get her hopefully she doesn't spot my periscope or anything like that but it looks like these will be impacts so let's go ahead and take a look all right here we go folks this is it oh <laughs> Right as uh, right as I go to check, there we go. There's the second impact. Perfect. Pretty much right in the middle there. I was like, oh no, we've run out of time. Okay, that's one big hole. Engines have seized. She is definitely going to go down. She's already listing fairly hard to port. Yeah, I think she's done for. Who knows though, sometimes these ships are very resilient. All oh, ahead one third. We'll just lay and wait. And let's actually have our hydrophone. I don't need you tracking. Let's go back to sweeping. Just in case anything <laughs> is coming to investigate. She's definitely listening to stern and port fairly heavily. I don't think they're going to be recovering from that. It's about a thousand pounds of torpex. Right? I think it's a thousand pounds. I can actually check. Let's see. So just over a thousand pounds, actually. 1,150 pounds of torpex right into the side of this ship. It's hard to imagine she would be able to survive that. Well, we have our torpedoes let ready. And she is just a sitting duck, so I can always... Oh, she's starting to burn. Things are starting to catch fire. There's no point. And um, putting another torpedo into her, we can always just wait. I think if a Japanese destroyer starts coming towards us, then we will you know, go ahead and shoot a Mark 14 or something. Let's just take a look here. Take a listen. That is our friend at 030, right? Yes, indeed. Those are our engines.
So it's just me and the merchant vessel here. No one else is. Let's go ahead and kind of just turn. And we'll just, I'll just lay in wait here. Oh, oh boy, that scared me. <laughs> That's the merchant ship here. Well, I'll go ahead and lay in wait here until she finally decides to dip beneath the waves. And if not, I will launch another into her. But I'll see you guys whenever I make up my mind on that. We'll probably wait here one or two hours. We'll see how things develop. It doesn't look like she's going to go down on her own, so we're going to have to entice her a little bit. I've went ahead and set up a Mark 14 torpedo here. We're going to shoot at this angle as well. It's about, yeah, I think maybe a little less. 103 degree angle. 130, I'm sorry. Excuse me, it's the AOB. But that's okay. Mark 14s do like that type of angle. They like those acute angles. Uh, so, we should be okay here. We'll set torpedo depth. Uh, it looks like 8 feet was good before. Contact speed high might as well. Open tube 7. Here we go. Alright, tube 7. Fire. Tube 7 and left the tube. Looks like the runtime is just shy of 30 seconds. All right, here we go. You can see, moment of truth here. That's definitely an impact, as long as the torpedo's not a dud. If it's a dud, I'm gonna be livid. <laughs> but uh, I suppose that's the way she goes. All right, here we go. Pretty much where we hit her the last time. Oh, broke her in half. Perfect. Oh, and that rear section just toppled over. She is done for now. No lifeboats. I'm sure the crew got off when they realized she was just dead in the water and nothing was going to happen. Yeah, she is She is going to flood fairly quickly after that. Looks like the stern section is the one that's going down the quickest. Yeah, it looks like the crew did abandon her. Can't say I blame them. Oh, wow. Someone say overkill? <laughs> uh, three torpedoes, that is quite a bit for such a small ship, but hey, I'll take it. She's going down, it looks like the fuel is starting to leak off and catch on fire. So let's take a look. Where is she? Let's watch her sink while we check out our log here. So it was a rune maroon, six out. 6,707 tons, not too shabby. That brings our total to one, two, three, four vessels sunk. And our fairly short patrol. Oh, we left sea December 20th, I believe. And now it's January 4th. I've already sunk four vessels. That's pretty freaking good, if I do say so myself. And yeah, she is starting to keel over. So let's go ahead and get out of here. CO2. Uh, yeah, we're okay. All right, let's continue on course here. <clears throat> we can stay submerged for a little bit. Let's secure from battle station so my crew's not exhausted. And we'll go up into the Sea of Japan and piddle paddle here a bit. If there's nothing up here, we're going to come back down and uh, probably go through the Bungo Straits and patrol in this area. I think that could be <laughs> very, very interesting and very intense. And then we'll just, you know, go up the coast and see what is what. So, I'll uh, get back to you guys in the Sea of Japan, probably. I'll surface here in about an hour, uh, so that way we can replenish our CO2 and uh, recharge our batteries. Our batteries are about 75%. Fuel is still okay. We've only expended about, okay, so 28% of our fuel. So, And we've traveled quite a ways, so I think we'll, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll, oh, Midway is our new base of operations. It updated the little anchor. Awesome. So everything's going to plan. I'm actually very excited to be shipped out of Midway. I think it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Even though I do expect we will get a new boat this next uh, patrol. I really hope we do. It keeps things interesting having a new boat. And also, uh, the Tambor class, you're stuck with the bathtub uh, conning tower. 
and we'll get the more iconic conning tower with the gun platforms and stuff if we get a Gato or a Baleo class sub. So, anywho, that's the current plan. I will get back to you guys whenever uh, that plan gets foiled, <laughs> most likely. And so, see you soon. So there has been a change of plans. The USS Trout is going to go ahead and proceed to the Bungo Straits immediately because we got a pretty juicy little little tidbit from uh, Sub Pack here. All right. To uh, well, we have two. I'll we'll read the first one. Forces of for for units on patrol near the Bungo Straits, intelligence sorts indicate that at least two convoys are en route from Peleliu to home waters. Based on estimated speed of advance, they'll be transferring the Bungo Straits on the 17th, January 44. So that we have quite a bit of time for that one, but this one here. For units on patrol near Bungo Straits. Intelligence source indicate that a convoy is en route from Pillow to home waters based on SOA. It will be transiting Bungo Straits uh, in the evening of January 7th, 1944. So we have two days to make it there. And I think we'll be able to do it. Oh, maybe not. Well, I want to definitely get there now because it seems like a lot of convoys transit from Bungo uh, out to home waters or from... <laughs> from out here through the Bungo Straits into home waters and vice versa. So we'll go ahead and head in and patrol this area and try to rack up some convoy tonnage. Uh, to do this, we are taking a fairly risky route here going through this little channel. I will definitely be submerging through this area and I'll keep you guys updated as we do that. And uh, also this might get a little dicey, but that adds to the fun. We gotta risk it. We gotta, we gotta add some spice to this playthrough, so this is how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> By possibly getting us killed, yippee. All right, so the crew is all hunky-dory. Torpedo situation is good. We have quite a few Mark uh, 18s loaded in the stern tubes now, but that's okay. That's okay, we'll, we'll survive. Let's go ahead and clean up our map. All right, well, we'll proceed down around Kaishu and into the Bungo Straits and I'll keep you guys I'll get back to you guys when we're in this area because I have a feeling it might get a little dicey so I will see you guys shortly okay um I am just transiting this area and I probably need to submerge now uh, the landmass is fairly close we aren't taking any shots just yet but let's go ahead and dive down all right while we're diving down to periscope depth we have a report of a large convoy heading north northeast so there's already convoys this is definitely going to be a good area i already can tell so let's go ahead and mark this maybe we'll be able to catch him he is heading towards the bungo trade so i highly doubt it but already one convoy wow that's crazy and that, that is one big square <laughs> so that's definitely a fairly large convoy i'm pretty excited to get up there i think this is going to be a very good hunting ground well, let's go ahead and submerge all the way. Go down. Yep, down to 60 feet. And let's just cruise at two-thirds speed and try to get through this as quickly as possible. So far, merchant moving slow. Bearing 293. Hmm. I don't know if I really want to attack him. Alright, scope is up all the way. I just checked my microphone to make sure it wasn't muted. <laughs> it's a little late for that. Uh, if I okay, so he's pretty far out. I have a feeling. Let's let's listen. Let's see where he goes. Is he actually sailing out of port, or is he just? Okay, let's turn north. I think he might just be patrolling these waters and looks like he changed course turn east very well could be just a small little patrol boat and if that's the case he is not worth our time but it doesn't look like that is a small patrol boat now does it no indeed it does not that looks like a very nice looking merchant ship <sighs> should we attack it I think we should all right, let's go ahead and try to get his speed. Well, this is a sudden change of events. Mark. All right, set timer for three minutes. 
And we'll let him close in on us. Hopefully he doesn't change course or anything wonky. Two minutes, and we're closing in on three. Looks like he's going slow. Very slow, in fact. That definitely helps us out. I could... Hmm. I'm thinking of using a magnetic pistol. Mark? Don't know if that is advisable, however. Five and a half knots. Interesting speed choice, my friend. Alright, let's go ahead and close in. We'll do it for six, five, six. Let's just get a rough reading at what he's at with six knots. Eleven. So yeah, still five and a half. Interesting. That's just a weird speed. Five and a half knots. Anyway, uh, let's try to close this gap. Oh, we need to get ready to fire. Uh, let's go ahead and raise our scope up just a smidge. Or raise the boat up, I should say. Let's begin identifying. Looks very familiar. Very, very familiar. The name escapes me as of speaking right now. So I'm looking for it, but um, no. I'm sure I just passed it. People are screaming at the screen. I know I would. Nagara Maru. Lock in. Range. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shut, set. Mark. AOB. AOB is looking pretty, pretty good. Um, hmm. It's just barely off 90 degrees. We'll do 95. Set. Speed five and a half knots. Set. We will be shooting a Mark 18 with a magnetic pistol. So tube five. Contact influence. Torpedo depth. Let's see. The draft is 25 feet. 24. We'll do 25 and a half. We'll, I'll shoot both of them. Fuck it. 25 and a half. Contact influence. Open tube six and tube five. Make sure everything is ready to go. One more range reading. Set. Let's see, what's his range? 5,000 yards. All right, tube five. That's not, shoot. Okay, I need to shoot Mark 14s. I need to shoot Mark 14s, okay. Okay, so we'll shoot high and contact pistol on boat. No, 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 no. Shoot low. All right, tubes one and two open. We'll keep everything the same here. Let's lower the draft to 10 feet though. I can't shoot Mark uh, 18s because they don't have the range for the shot. Tube, five, tube one, fire. Tube two, fire. All right, tube two away. Wow, five minute run time, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is definitely a, a much longer shot than I'm used to. Yeah, so range on short is 4,500 yards and 9,000 yards on slow, so 4,000 yards only for the Mark 18. Definitely a long shot. Hopefully, hopefully it works. This could be missed by a long shot, especially if the speed is wrong. Yeah, it looks like we missed by quite a lot. I feel like he's going faster than five and a half knots. That just does not seem. Ah, we actually didn't miss by that much. Well, now he definitely knows we're here. I guarantee you it was the speed. Let's let's do another speed thing. I have a feeling the reason it was, we got five and a half knots was because he was changing speed. All right. I want this to reset. There we go. Alright, let's do this. I, I'm sure he's zigzagging now. Definitely looks like he's going faster though. I have a feeling he was changing speed as my, uh, as I took my readings. Two minute. Closing in on three. I could, mm, I don't think I can launch another shot here. Not now. But I'm just curious. Yeah, it was definitely speed. Mark. Seven knots. 
Yeah. That will do it. I'm sure he was accelerating after his turn here and going up to seven knots. That's why we missed. Let's ahead flank. Maybe we can get around here. God damn it. Torpedo missed, sir. God damn it. We're going eight knots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know if we'll be able to outmaneuver him here. No, I don't think we will. I'm surprised he's not zigzagging. You didn't see that. Uh, yeah, this is kind of futile. I suppose I could surface and go about him. Yeah, let's go ahead and slow down. Turn away. We'll go around and re-engage here. Battery's down to 50%. I'm surprised it took that long. Really burning through them there. I do not want to enter the shallow water. How deep is it where I currently am? Let's see. Uh, depth under keel, please. 62 feet. Okay, so that's not too bad. Definitely could be worse. Let's come up to decks awash. 40 feet. Probably need to come up just a smidge more. Let's go to 30 feet. I believe that will be uh, Dex of Wash. Yeah. My crew can't man the conning tower like that. I wonder if he's going to see me and start shooting at me. It's certainly possible. Both motors ahead flank. Hopefully he doesn't open up. If he opens up, this is game over here. Uh, the sky is very pretty over this area. Uh, batteries, let's not recharge them now. No need. He hasn't started to train his guns over just yet. Let's increase our angle here. Try to get away. Try to get away. All right, he is cruising, still cruising. Wow, he's oblivious to what we're, what's going on. Perfect. Now, this is a very scary area. The shore could pop out of the fog and mess up my whole day fairly easily. <laughs> Hope that doesn't happen, though. All right, we are maintaining radar contact. We can go ahead and turn in. Like a 45-degree angle of attack here. 12 knots, that's all we're getting, I guess... I guess the sea state is definitely contributing to that. Also, we are running fairly low in the water. I'm going to keep it that way, though. Reduce our profile. Okay. Looks like he's changed course once again. Speed slow. Well, let's wait and see here. He's probably going to change course again. What the hell? Is he going? Is he going through here? That's going to make it very hard to do an attack. Radar contact bearing. Oh shoot! 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 Don't like that. Don't like that. Do not like that. Okay, he's probably going into this here port. All right, and we have two unknown radar contacts, and it looks like we've lost radar contact because of. Uh, we could try a surface attack. To try a surface attack. That is possible. Let's turn east. Oh boy. Okay. Reestablish contact. Sure. Screw it. Hopefully, none of them have radar. Some be. I understand. I'm in shallow waters. How deep? 41 feet. I cannot go to periscope depth. How wonderful. Uh, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> um, looks like we have a fairly major port here in this area. Japanese merchant ships all over, or warships most likely, patrol vessels. Alright, let's go ahead and do this one more time. I do not want to botch this up. Speed reading. Alright, and start timing now. 
All right, surface the boat fully. Like we need as much juice as we got. Cause I'm gonna shoot and then whip around and run like hell. That is <laughs> that is the current plan. This is so dumb. All right, especially with all these warships. What? Probably 10 nautical miles away. Yeah, 12. All right, just past one minute. I'm just guessing they're warships. I am fairly certain they are guarding this port. So, if they are merchant ships, I guess that will be a a surprise, but a welcome one. See, it looks like he's going slower now. Maybe he is going five knots. This guy really likes to change his speed up. It must be a fairly new crew, too, because I didn't see the two torpedo wakes go astern of them <laughs> by, like, twin feet. All right, set. All right, let's go ahead and see here. Seven knots still. Perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and get a... A, uh... It's probably going to change course before I attack, and I kind of am banking on that. Hopefully there's no coastal batteries. Yes, Alright, let's get ready here. There he is. All stop. Let's go down to 25 feet. Can we see any warships? Man your battle stations. Alright, let's get on the Yuzo. Lock on target. Range. Oh, actually, we need to probably re-identify, don't we? Mark that in. Range is going to be tricky here. Let's see. What do we have in estimated range? Probably 3,500 yards away. Let's go ahead and see. And... Um, mark. Set. 4,400. Okay, I was only a thousand off. AOB. Oh boy. 70, 70 degrees. Yeah, set. Speed, seven knots. Set. Torpedo tubes will shoot uh, one and two at slow speeds. Um, I'm gonna lay in wait. He has to change course. Yes, he he's changed course. Let's adjust. I'll stop. Let's begin reversing. Back two thirds. Let's go lower. Lower, boys. If he opens up, we're fucked. Back full. Getting lower in the water. Not enough. Alright, actually, we should be okay here. Let's see, his current course... This is pretty intense, actually, because those guns can just rip into me. Um, should I retime him? Yeah, start. Start timing again. Whew. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Those guys are close now. 9.7. Um, did I just hear a shell whiz over me? No, his guns are still trained forward, thank god. Hopefully his crew is just asleep. They're just asleep. So we back away. AOB is a little, little steeper now. Let's do 60 degrees set. Make sure everything is good. Range probably still decreasing. Mark. 3,800 yards. I could probably shoot now. I'll, I'll stop. I want this to complete before I shoot. Let's try to let this complete. Two. Mark. Six knots. Six knots. Uh, 
Okay. We'll set it. Six knots. Set. Tubes one and two, right? Yep, tubes one and two. Torpedo depth. Nine feet for both. Contact for both. AOB, much better now. Closer to 80 degrees, set. Speed six knots, set. Range, one more reading, please. Mark. Tubes one, open. Tubes two, open. Tube one, fire. Tube two, six seconds. I'm gonna set tube two for seven knots. Set tube two. Fire tube two. Both torpedoes are away. Back emergency. Back emergency. We have anything, any contacts out there? No, not yet. Okay. Oh, well, this is it. If this doesn't work, then uh, he's definitely getting away. I think the six knots was definitely correct, though. Oh, maybe he's somewhere in the middle. We're gonna find out. It's our runtime. Closing in, we got 20 seconds. Looks like it's kicking up, churning up waves. Oh boy. You know, just my luck, he might just be going. Got him! We got a hit, awesome! Okay, one torpedo impact. That was probably the six knot one. I have a feeling our seven knot is gonna miss. <laughs> All right, well, she is definitely hurting from that. Actually, very surprised. Yeah. Oh, I think our seven knot is the one that hit. All engines stop. I wonder if my crew wants to get on the deck gun. Now let's see, what are all these other ships doing? Okay, one is racing this way. Let's take a look. Actually, both engines ahead flank. Let's man the deck gun. Whip around immediately. We need to head for this water and in the process we'll lob shells over that way. All right, <laughs> what, who? What brave souls want to get on the deck gun in this, these conditions? Just tie yourselves down, you'll be okay. In order to sink this ship, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, tube one's already reloaded, but I don't think I'll be shooting another one at her. Looks like she is stationary. Turn that off. Let's get range to target. Wow, super freaking far. There she is. Oh, and this is going to be an issue. You know what? I don't. I think this is kind of futile. Maybe she'll just go under on her own. Let's take a look. Uh, there she is. She does look like she's listing pretty heavily. We can only hope. Oh yeah. She is listing pretty heavily. We might actually get her. Let's take care from battle stations. Start just running. Yes sir. Okay. Looks like the game. Oh, she is definitely listing fairly heavily. I don't know why they're. Please stop that. Just go to periscope depth. Will it stop you? Oh my god, that's freaking annoying. Secure from battle stations. Maybe that'll stop. There we go. Phew! 
That was irritating. Well, it looks like she is listing fairly heavily by the nose. I don't think she is going to be able to recover. Let's linger around here, though, just to wait and see. We can play hide and seek with this guy, though. It's definitely a warship that's coming this way. All right, let's move a little quicker. I don't know if we're going to be able to get her, unfortunately. Let's go to this deeper water and dive down to periscope. Now, periscope depth. All slow. I don't think we're going to be able to confirm this kill. Unfortunately, merchant moving slow. Oh no, is it really moving? Oh, she's going down! Let's see if we can hear it. I guess not, but we got her. We have another merchant vessel <laughs> way out here. Wow, this place is popping. All right, let's see. Nagara Maru, awesome. So she actually sunk. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, well, we're not going to stick around here. Let's get out of here. Especially now that they know I'm here. Uh, let's go ahead and follow our course and just kind of get out of here, especially with this destroyer lurking around. I do not want to be friends. No, I do not. Probably, they probably suspect she was just hit by a mine, but you never know. Yeah, there's another merchant ship going that way. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and get out of this area, head towards the Bungo Straits where these convoys are. Uh, that was a pretty exciting attack, though, I have to say. That was intense. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next episode where hopefully we get to the Bungo Straits and see some big Japanese convoys. So, Anyway, I will see you guys then.